In various moments, um, some of them have been execution moments, especially in, in very essential parts of the pitch. All the time, it's been moments when you put the ball in that net, the game is over. Uh, we haven't done it. We have some errors. Uh, we have said some things related to organization as well. Set plays, it's been various things. But has there been a real sort of reaction when these things go against you? Mm. Have you felt uh, a bit of a sort of you know, a bit of a reaction to that across across the team? Or? It's what happens in this league when you make uh, those type of errors. The, the teams punish you, you know, and sometimes you get lucky and, and they don't. But uh, it happened in, in the last few games when we have made uh, those errors that the team have punished us and, and it cost us points, that's for sure. I can also just ask you about something that I think a lot of people think is quite unfair, a quite a reductive argument that this notion that Arsenal somehow bottled it can you can you just address that and, and talk about how that makes you feel? I don't know. I think people have opinions. We try to do our best, and uh, they are entitled to have those opinions. Can you just sort of shrug that off though, because it's it's clearly not. not we, right. I cannot control what people think. We try to do our best and and make our people as proud as possible and uh, try as well as possible to win the games as we have to do. Thank you. I was just going to ask you, the players, the players have been absolutely fantastic for you this season, haven't they? They've been you know, great. Whatever happens now, you, you can look back and say you've had a fantastic campaign. So on the back of that, just how much did they learn from those experiences of setbacks last season, you know, like the Newcastle game, and give them extra mentality that they've shown throughout the course of the campaign? I don't know how much relation is from, from that as well, because we have... Um, quite a few different players this, this season as well. But uh, I think we have to judge at the end what we do when we play the final game and uh, we are certain about where we have finished. We have won the league, yes or no? We did see the, the Amazon documentary and obviously what happened in the dressing room afterwards. I'm presuming you, you, you know, it was clear that you were upset and the players were upset after that game. I'm presuming you haven't had to get so tough on so many occasions this season. It's been different. Yeah, I wonder we can do that when we win. <laughs> Depending on the performance, uh, every game is different. Um, again, I haven't seen it back. Uh, I have a few flashback of, of how it was, <laughs> and uh, and it was it was a difficult game. That's and a difficult day. Sorry, that's for sure. <coughs> what, why was it so difficult? Because sorry? why was it so difficult? Because if you'd won that game, you know the destiny was still in your own yeah, hands. For sure. It was a red hot atmosphere, wasn't it? Why was it so difficult? Oh, because we didn't achieve, but uh, but we had very close of, of achieving at the end, and that was the, the disappointment that we have to deal with. Sam, Mikael, have there been any well, are there any updates on Saliba's contract? No. Is that becoming a pressing priority for you and the club? We want to keep our best talent, you know, and, and especially the the players that deserve um, some recognition. I think he's been incredible since. Uh, he came back from the long period and, and we want to reward him, that's for sure, and we will find the right moment to do that. So I think a lot of fans will see he's got one year left and they know that the club wants to be financially sustainable and think mm. if there's no deal, he has to be sold. Is that a fair worry? I don't know. Obviously, um, everyone they board that on top of every negotiation regarding the new contracts, and and now we are doing everything that we possibly can to to do that in the right moment, in the right time. The communication, the relationship is is super. It's about timing, I think. Nothing else. Just just going back to that Newcastle game. We also was that the angriest you've been with the players? Was that the first time we'd <laughs> seen you really laying into them? Like that? I don't know. Maybe I've been angry, but I haven't expressed it. Uh, maybe, yes. I don't know. How, how long did it take you to sort of get over that thing, calm down almost? Because that wasn't sort of the end of everything you've been chasing, was it, after that game? It's not about that. It's about something hurts or not. And I have moments that in my professional career as I played as well, at the fears that I had or moments that I didn't maximise. Um, what I could have done, that they are still there and they never go away. And uh, and those feelings in those moments, they will stay there forever. So, yeah, the anger or the passion or, or what you show in the moment is something, but it's really what it sticks uh, inside. Okay, Dan? Back to the back. Obviously, you were obviously frustrated with the performance at Newcastle last season and then when the stakes were so high in terms of Champions League and then if you were very unhappy after the Man City game and said they didn't do the basics. There, there will obviously be some people who do think still that Arsenal, when the stakes are at their highest, they're still not able to perform. Do you think that's a fair accusation? And how do you kind of prepare for that and train, train for these biggest games? 
I don't think we have 38 tests. <laughs> no one or two during the season. If not, you are not where we are for 10 and a half months.